Today's video is uh, we're working on our camper trailer. Uh, a little while back we picked up this old uh, Stampede uh, Palomino, they called it. I think it's a 2009 or 2011, something like that. Well, anyhow, it's a nice little one. It's used. It was uh, definitely not very expensive. And uh, it needed a lot of TLC. And some of that TLC is new roof stuff. And anybody that's ever had a camper, there's always maintenance in them. And uh, we wanted to get a little one, just do some traveling around and stuff. Well, as you see, the roof needs a little care. It's the original roof to it. It's that rubbery type material that they have. And uh, all these things are getting brittle. So we're going to, I got some ideas on replacing that one. That one broke over there. We are washing. And the air conditioning unit here, I have a new cover coming for that. But yeah, the roof needs a little TLC. So the other day, the uh, kids came up with uh, uh, hot water and a little bit of bleach solution, cl cleaned the roof off really good, sprayed it down well, brushed it all off, and then we let it dry, and then yesterday it was drizzling a little bit, so we didn't do it. So today I'm up here because I'm going to apply a new roof coating over this a friend of mine told me about. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Um, and it's this stuff here. Henry uh, Tropicool. Now this stuff here is supposed to be really cool for doing the RV roofs like this. It's like a 50 year warranty or something like that. It's, it's awesome. So I thought I'd give you guys a little daily vlog here. Never have any success on daily vlogs, but I figure what the heck, we'll give it a shot. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this stuff and sweep the roof and stir and get to applying. See how it turns out. Got to mix it a little bit. If you guys have ever seen one of these before, these little paint cans, they open up cans and everything instead of using a screwdriver. So, I can say this, I can't remember offhand, I think this can was around 50 bucks. So the stuff's not super cheap. It's pretty thick though. I said it's 100% silicone. Just got to stir it for a little bit. And whether with the little paintbrush I got, I gotta have the paintbrush here, as well as I grab the small roller, a little uh, two and a half inch roller, I think that was, three inch roller. Well, as you guys can see, I got uh, just about all the roof done, and uh, I have a little bit of a can left over, but not by too much. So uh, I'm going to try to wrap this up without falling off the roof. <laughs> okay. okay, you guys, let's see here. i got to try to figure this all out. So I've got to paint this little spot right here. And uh, I use a paintbrush as well. Uh, the, the roller's been working really good for um, the roller's been working really good for getting along this edge, and it was kind of important to get along this, this seam right here because it had caulk on it, but it was cracking. And I want to make sure I get a couple of coats on this one, um, so this way the water doesn't drip off and, and curve up and around. It looks like I'm doing a pretty good job. Um, the roof's getting a bit of a texture to it, and I think it's because of the nap I was using. I probably shouldn't have been using this kind of nap, but it's all I had at the time, and I actually didn't think I was going to do it today because I was doing, I was filming another video uh, for a tool, and uh, that I just recently got a hold of, and that went fairly smoothly, except for the fact that I couldn't finish the video, so it had to be a two-part series because of uh, some some little things that I needed. And so I thought, well, what the heck, I'll try to kill kill the chores off the list, the honeydew list. And this was one of them. And since the kids took the time to to work on this the other day, I thought, well, I better come out here and while well, the weather's holding out and apply this. Um, there's not a whole lot I know about it, honestly. Um, again, I just I, I went on this for a referral from a friend. 
and uh, I, I have seen in the past other people, I guess, starting to use it. I didn't know that's what they were using at the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to finish this all up and uh, maybe bring you guys back in a little while to see what it looks like. Um, I'm liking it. It's kind of like a self-leveler in a way. It's silicone, so it'll kind of flatten out a little bit. But I bought two cans, so I'm thinking that I'm definitely going to use the second can in this roof. And uh, uh, we'll see what happens. Well, there you have it. I... Uh, I had just, I mean, I just squeaked out enough to do the face of this. Um, it's, that's wood. That's like three quarter inch wood with some type of, uh, uh, like a, like a plastic, some type of, I don't know if it's plastic per se. It's not necessarily, what's, <sighs> he hates crows. He hates crows. I, for the life of me, I don't know why, but he hates crows. So anyhow, uh, yeah, so I managed to actually get a coat of this on there because it actually had Palomino written on it and half of it was falling off. But it's a different material than what this is. Uh, this comes off fairly easy. Well, as you see here, you can see how this used to say Palomino. I don't know if you can get that on the angle, but it was starting to come off. So I heat, used a heat gun and it came off really easy, but it leaves that ghosting Palomino on there. And, uh, you know, kids nicknamed him Charlie, the trailer, Charlie our camper. Um, like I said, he's probably seven, ten years old, something like that. So it's had a lot of wear. Uh, the inside's pretty decent, but uh, uh, here's what the roof looks like. That's the roof, and uh, it had texture. Um, uh, it's got you can see like little bits of nap, but that's not from the paint roller. That's actually uh, the roof was so dry and and getting old that as I rolled it, that would show up. Um, I do have a second can, so I'm going to probably end up um, coating it a second time. Um, one of the other things we had a concern about was this curve here, as you can see, it's got ripples across it. And it was just old. I don't know what it caused the issue. Again, it wasn't this um, the stuff that's on the side of the trailer. It's a different material. So it was causing a little bit of a, um, uh, an issue, and it had wrinkles across it. So um, it's been dry for a long time now. We haven't had rain for quite a while. It had drizzled a little bit the other day. but um, So... I went ahead and coated all that. So the whole front of this, this curve, and then the roof, and then a little bit of the curve at the back. Uh, I got some on the uh, the bottom plate. That actually doesn't lift off. You have to actually disconnect the entire conditioning unit to get underneath it. That I was not going to do. So when I do the second coat, I'm going to go back, hit it. I'm gonna actually just going to rubber all that, too. Why not? You know, I'll just rubberize that. But uh, they say, um, you know, it's like 15 minutes. Uh, it can, you know, if it rains in 15 minutes, 20 minutes after it applies, it's okay. I can't see how that happens, uh, but that's what the advertisement says. It says right there, 100% waterproof, rain safe in 15 minutes. One coat application. Uh, so, yeah, so there's all the, what you can, oh, I'm sorry, you probably can't even see that, the light now. There we go. So, uh, uses trailer, our RV trailer, mobile home roofs, recoating previously coated roofs, aged asphalt roofs, and so on and so forth. Uh, so, limited lifetime warranty with just one coat. It says uh, approximately 70 square feet. Yeah, well, Charlie, he's probably seen better days, but uh, he's ours, he's paid for, and uh, the few times we ever go out to do anything, it's going to suit the purpose. It's, you know, you make do with what you have, and uh, you try to take care of it however you can. So, hopefully, you guys, you know, that's a little bit of a vlog, not, not much, but, uh, yeah, Henry's one, one, number one uh, choice for professionals, 100% uh, silicone. Hey, I'll let you know later on after the summer how it held up. So, again, like always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Remember, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.